100 kilometers of tunnels, 57 stations, all built within the space of five years and linking into a rail network across the Middle East. That's the ambition of Qatar Rail in building the Doha Metro. For the project to succeed, Qatar Rail needed to control the delivery of the infrastructure, to mandate its processes, to ensure suppliers work to the same procedures and to guarantee its safety. ComplyServe offers a unique cloud-based progressive assurance solution which is most effective in large complex infrastructure projects. The focus on qualitative issues means that there's full traceability and compliance throughout the process. Its methodology removes uncertainty in grey areas, allowing problems to be identified earlier and any impact removed. ComplyPro has given the Qatar management team the tools to fully control the delivery of the infrastructure, to mandate its processes and to ensure suppliers work to the same procedures. In the area of assurance, you have many silos of expert activity where you know, have very good engineering people who are actually working um, in, a, in a separation from the actual project itself. So that the analysis that they're doing, the, the, the information that they're providing, often hits the project too late to make an impact. So we thought there must be a better way of A, integrating these processes, um, creating unified processes and involving more people in the process of assurance rather than have just relying on a handful of experts who were somewhat removed from the actual action of the project itself. When it came to implementing ComplyPro, Qatar Rail had the insight to bring it in at a very early stage. This allowed them to implement it right across their contractors, ensuring consistency and visibility throughout the entire project. It's extremely important. We, on previous projects I've worked with, we've had four or five different systems and Excel spreadsheets being sent around the world and coming back and then you have three different versions of the spreadsheet and it's with the Comply Pro, it's because it's web-based and everybody enters into the same database. Uh, there's no versions of it, it's always the most current version that, that's available. Uh, from ourselves, the link from requirements to assumptions to interfaces to hazards and the compilation of evidence is very important, makes it very, very easy for us. At the front end, the Comply Pro system is simple to navigate and use. Throughout, ComplyServe's expert team works closely with Qatar Rail to create a system bespoke to their requirement. We stay close to, I think, all, all parts of the process, both through the delivery process uh, with the professional services team and the consultant or consultants involved in the implementation. Uh, we try and build that relationship both with the project team on the customer client side but equally, where we can get access to the end users, that's what we want to know, because we want to understand, okay, you've got to work with this tool, but what are the things about this tool that we can improve? And equally, we like to try and communicate what are the things that we are improving in the tool, because we are, as well as delivering the, 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 the ethos of, of progressive assurance with the use of ComplyPro underpinning it, we are a software delivery business, and we have a software team, developers, QA, who, who, are, who are here and are, are interested in trying to make the product stronger, better, you know, more, more appealing and trying, again, in a lot of cases, just try and make the, the task that people have to do a bit closer to breathing. Training can take as little as a couple of hours and guides users through a step-by-step -step program. This means there's less of a requirement for expensive consultants, as knowledge can now be centralised, putting the power back into the hands of those who are procuring the work. Trainings to our contractors, to our management consultants, and to our verifiers and the design verification engineers to, uh, to bring them up to speed on the processes. We have taken this approach that whenever we bring a user on board, we train them along with ComplyServe. So they, they travel uh, to our locations or they can do it, uh, they do some time online. And we have noticed that within two hours of training, uh, people are capable of doing uh, whatever they are supposed to do on the tool. 
A project like the Doha Metro has specialists from a host of different countries working on it at the same time. And ComplyPro supports the exchange of crucial information regardless of language or location. The main goal we are having here is not to build this project as to have a very safe and secure environment of transportation. It will be pointless if we didn't maintain or secure the safety of this project. So I think using such program will uh, enforce the safety and enforce the quality of this project. Everybody can have the same information at the same time using the Comply Pro. So even you know, designer in other countries or in, in, in Korea, in Italy, in Qatar, is very useful to use Comply Pro. The big good thing about Comply Pro is its simplicity and it runs through a web browser. So. We have a number of licenses. We're delivering this project through multiple design centres in Hong Kong, in the UK, in Qatar, back in Dubai. And it, it's a big plus that all those design teams, each discipline within that team has, has their own licence, has access to it, and they can see that live data real time. And they can start populating it independently. And my job then becomes more of a quality and a review rather than dragging in and flying across the world and trying to you know, solve problems when it, it can all just be presented through, through this interface. This approach is seen by the client organisation as a way of having better visibility and control of actually what's going on. And uh, I would say that in the Middle East, uh, you, the clients within the Middle East are some of the smartest clients in this area in the world. Um, and they've seen the value of having this sort of information at their fingertips. Because we use this as say, a gate system, we can sort of say, well, we're confident that the design has been achieved to a certain level, and we have a demonstration of that across the life cycle. Now, when it goes into installation, that's a different phase, or test and commissioning, but we should have been confident about the design at that stage. Things do change, things happen. It's an engineering project, you expect that. But at least you have a, a sort of baseline of where you were at, at any stage in the life cycle of the project. And that's useful. Yeah, instead of getting to a point where um, an error is un unretrievable, because of the progressive assurance nature of the, the system, you tend to pick things up when the lines on a drawing as opposed to a concrete wall that's being built, so we use it for system safety, so we use it as a uh, to monitor the hazards on the job, so we identify the hazards and the control measures. We use uh, a Comply Pro to manage that process through the design and then into the construction and testing and commissioning, so we make sure that when we identify a control measure to make the system safe, that uh, it is actually implemented and will be there in place when we actually start operating the railway. You can manage those requirements from the very high level right the way through the programme specification and out to the contracts. So right from the very earliest concepts right through the, to the delivery and the handover to the operator and beyond, you have a very consistent view of what you're trying to achieve and how you're measuring up as you proceed against those objectives. For ComplyServe, the opportunities for growth are significant. The Middle East has plans for hundreds of billions of dollars of infrastructure projects over the next two years. The profound growth of rail in these countries means the markets are ripe and ComplyServe is already being engaged to take projects forward and ultimately to help drive its clients' costs down. At the moment, we're looking at new markets. Yeah, so we're, we're we're fairly well established in the Middle East. Yeah, we're the market leader. Yeah, we're on every rail project there that of note. We're now looking to break into Asia. We've been in Australia for a while, so there's the geographic potential of expansion. You know, we haven't even looked at North or South America. Any infrastructure project of any level of complexity could benefit from this solution, and we're getting near to, to the, the uh, point now where even the government, through the Major Projects Authority, recognise yeah, that assurance actually isn't, isn't a necessary evil, it actually delivers benefits. In addition to the Metro, the Qatar Rail team are also developing the Lusail Light Rail Transit, 
connecting Doha to LaSalle City. Once finished, this will add 37 kilometres of tunnels. The entire Qatar Rail project is unprecedented in its scale, vision and time frame. And there's no doubt that ComplyServe is playing a key part in its realisation. <laughs>